Not long after the powerful Loma Prieta earthquake struck San Francisco, a very strange thing began happening at Pier 39. Tuesday. Absolutely. The first day of spring, as Spencer mentioned, but, but yeah. we all know the first day of spring arrived really yesterday. <laughs> Since February, several hundred have gradually taken over KDOC at the Pier 39 Amusement Center. Why are they here? How long will they stay? As Don Smith of the Marine Mammal Center admits, no one really knows. Wow, this is crazy. What are all these seals doing here? Actually, these are not seals, they're sea lions. And no one really knows for sure why they chose KDOC to haul out. But we do know that before they came here to KDOC inside the bay, the main local hangout was Seal Rock near the Cliff House on the coast. We also know that great white sharks are predators of sea lions and are known to hunt in the waters around Seal Rock. So the sea lions may have moved to Pier 39 for safety, or maybe they just discovered a better place to rest from the storms and rough waves of the Pacific Ocean shoreline. Whatever the reason, the continued presence of the sea lions at KDOC is a great example of humans and wildlife coexisting in a mutually beneficial manner. Lions anyway. Seals, walruses, and sea lions are all members of a special group of marine animals known as pinnipeds. But these are sea lions and are different than seals because they can move on land by walking on all four flippers. True seals can't do this. And unlike seals, they also have small external ear flaps. Also, sea lions mainly use the strength of their front flippers to cut and turn through the water. True seals depend more on their rear flippers and body for swimming. California sea lions range along the Pacific coast from Vancouver Island and British Columbia all the way down to the southern tip of Baja California in Mexico. But they breed mainly on a few offshore islands like California's Channel Islands off the coast of Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. California sea lions are known for their intelligence, playfulness, and noisy barking. Their colors range from chocolate brown in males to a lighter golden brown in females. Sea lion pups weigh between 13 and 20 pounds at birth and are about 30 inches in length. And they grow up fast. In just four or five years, females can grow to 300 pounds and six feet in length. But the males are even bigger with the mature bulls reaching 850 pounds and over seven feet in length. California sea lions are fast, opportunistic eaters, feeding on herring, rockfish, salmon, octopus, squid, and even small sharks. At the Marine Mammal Center in Marin County, hundreds of rescued sea lions are cared for and nursed back to health every year. Their patients come in with all kinds of injuries, but one of the biggest dangers to sea lions is becoming entangled in plastic pollution. Other threats include malnutrition, illness, and other wounds. The good news is that under the care of many dedicated staff members and volunteers, most of the sea lions that come to the Marine Mammal Center can be rehabilitated and eventually returned home to the sea. There are lots of things we can do to help sea lions live happy, healthy lives, but that starts by protecting our undersea environment from pollution. There are lots of ways that you can help the environment by reducing the chemicals and toxins we use on lawns and gardens, by switching to reusable shopping bags and water bottles, and by properly disposing of plastic and other trash items. You can also help by volunteering and just sharing this information with your friends and family. Taking these steps will go a long way toward reducing pollution and helping the marine environment. Our friends the sea lions will be very glad you did. Okay.